saying no man no, it's friday some racing podcast and that so no looking forward to it always 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 as the weekend been well weekend so far been treating you tell us about Can what happened to again? you tell us about what happened to your carpenter real quick oh don't <laughs> 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 oh yeah on, top sim racer in that let's just say yeah, just don't use your phone whilst driving. It's very bad. <laughs> very bad. Don't do it. <laughs> don't do it. Well, at least you didn't flip nobody over your bonnet or not. No, no. See, it was only a little minor one anyway. And it did more damage to my car. So, I, you know, it's my own fault, I guess. That's all cool, man. That's all cool. Yeah. But uh, congratulations on your podium on, on Tuesday. Around oh, Brands yeah. Hatch. Decent. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Decent. Decent. Let's, let's not talk about my race, though. <laughs> you know, it was cool. Yeah, yeah. let's not do that. <laughs> it was cool. You know <laughs> but nah, man. Like, yeah. Monza. <laughs> I, can't, I, can't even look, I can't even look forward to Monza anymore. I can't even look forward to... Well, I wasn't looking forward to Monza anyway. Because mm. I'm in a Bentley, but... That's just kind of mixes in with what we're talking about today. A set of course of competizione, how things have changed since the new patch, the new car, car order, and how, how are we feeling about the game so far since the new patch? Do you know what I mean? So, yeah, let's get stuck into it, man. New patch. How Do you, how, do you feel like it's affected the Lexus in negative or positive? or? How? Yeah, I mean... For me, I mean, it's changed a few things since the the new patch. I mean, in the Lexus beforehand, uh, under braking, the uh, the front end used to sort of like you know, bounce up and down quite, and you know, it sometimes affects you sort of going into corners. Yeah. yeah. But uh, you know, ever since the new patch, it's just you know, it's not there no more. You know, it's pretty good. So you think they've improved the Lexus? Uh, I wouldn't say improve because now, because of that, you're sort of experiencing how good the Lexus is under the brakes. Right, and right. I feel like now that, you know, they've changed that, the, the Lexus under the brakes, you have to brake a lot more earlier than, you know, a lot of cars, if you get what I mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know. For me, I, you know, the, the Lexus under braking in the new patch, I mm. think... You know, you're having to break a lot more earlier, in my opinion, anyway. So you can't, late breaking is just not happening for you? I mean, you can late break, but, yeah. you know, you just, unless you want to expect a barrier. So <laughs> <laughs> gravel afterwards, then, you know, be my guess. But I, I have to admit, I haven't, I haven't actually tried the Lexus since. I haven't, actually, I haven't tried the Lexus in a while. But um, mm. for me, since, since the patch to Bentley, um, I, I don't I don't know how I feel about the car. Obviously, it still feels like it drives the same, but it just mm. doesn't feel that quick. Maybe it's just me. But obviously, I did spend a lot of time out of it. And obviously, you can see Gold Saw, he's still managing to get times out of it and stuff like that. But it just doesn't seem like that, that car anymore. Mm. Do you know what I mean? I think with the, you know, being able to ride curbs is, is part of it. But the balance mm. is like... It's, I, I've ne I never noticed before the the rear stepping out so much coming out of corners. I I really didn't notice that before about the Bentley. And I 
personally think it probably had something to do a little bit with um the SRO event at Spa where I think it was like 15 drivers picked a Bentley and one person picked the AMG. And in the race, the Bentley's just absolutely destroyed the AMG. And I think after that, they must have seen that probably wasn't great for their brand or whatever they were trying to do. And I think they thought, oh, we, we better take care of this car a little bit. And, you know, I mean, in some of the patch notes, they don't even talk about stuff that they may or may have not of nerfed. But something's happened to that car, man. It's definitely not the same as it was before. But the new cars, I mean, there's there's a load of, you know, like inconsistencies. As, as far as some people saying, oh, the, the, the McLaren is... It's overpowered or it's, it, the McLaren's way too fast. And then you get to certain tracks and the McLaren's not nowhere near the pace. Just mm. just judging by, you know, Brands Hatch, even though it wasn't the wet, the McLaren did not did not look like a good car around Brands Hatch. It was nowhere near the pace. You could you could pretty much tell. You know, Jardia was at the back, um, Andrade, the only other guy who was in it, he was towards the back. And yeah, but then there's other tracks I'm hearing where guys are doing like fifty twos at Nurburgring in the in the McLaren, so I'm not too sure um, about the McLaren. Yeah, it's crazy. So I'm not mm. too sure whether they've... Because obviously they've had to sort of create their own BOP for the McLaren because it's not in Blanc Pain or, or anything else. So obviously they've created their own BOP and I'm not too sure, you know, if they've got it accurate enough around, the, around all the tracks. But I definitely know at certain circuits the, the McLaren is pretty damn fast. Mm. So it's yeah. it's it's one of them, man. It's one of them. Like I've obviously I, I tried all the cars briefly at, at Zanvoort when, when Zanvoort first came out, which is a great track by the way. And um, I just the McLaren, I couldn't get no time out of it, man. I could not get any time out of that McLaren around Zanvoort compared to I just jumped in a Porsche. Yes. Yeah, the Aston was nice to mm. drive. I jumped in a Porsche, even though it was lethal, it was so quick. But I think it's generally quick around that circuit. But the Porsche is fast. Um, even like even the M6 felt as quick Ooh. as the yeah as quick as the the McLaren around there. But I don't know if it was just me. Maybe I haven't figured out the car enough. I haven't driven it enough. But for me personally, I haven't felt like oh this car is anything special. You know what I mean? But um, we'll see, man. Um, mm. I tell you what car has disappointed me a little, the NSX, because I just feel like it's just done nothing. It's done, it hasn't given me any sort of feeling that it's massively better than the last NSX. Do you mm. know what I mean? I don't feel, I don't even feel like it's an Evo. I feel like they gave it like, you know, 10, 10 more horsepower. And so there you go. There's, there's your, there's your Evo. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So yeah, for me, I'm I'm not too sure, man. I, I don't know how to feel about the uh I don't know how to feel about the whole sort of Evo thing. I just I don't I don't rate the car, man. I've tried. I, I tried it in a Jardia community race. I tried um what picking Yeah, I tried it in it we did a community race around Monza not too long ago and it was raining and I've always wanted to test it in the rain because I felt like mm. it'll be a very good rain car. But Yeah. Obviously, it was all long straights, and I was just just getting destroyed. Really, I wasn't didn't do anything. I was getting smashed. Do you know what I mean? So, uh, I don't know. But obviously, we've got the new Audi Evo as well. We have got the Lamborghini Evo. Um, I've never driven them. I've but driven from, them from the looks of it. Mm. They look very fast. Well, not the Lambo as such, but the Audi does. Audi looks very competitive. I've actually, I've actually got a little um, chart on. Oh, let me just get that up. Yeah. This is a chart. I went on a, a set of Corsa. Um, I went on a set of Corsa website, and someone has made like a chart of all the sort of all the all the all the cars they've done like an up to date test or whatever, and it was sort of like, you know, all the new cars. I don't know why they didn't include like the old Audi, but where they included the new, the mm -hmm. new Lambo, but um. Yeah, and it was it was weird because when you look at the the Lamborghini, for instance, the Evo compared to the old one, it's not actually that much quicker. Um, in terms of the you know, all-out lap time, I think the the benefit of having the the new Evo 
is just the drivability and the fact that it's a lot safer. We've already mm-hmm. seen how many people get in a Lamborghini and struggle to finish a race because the car is so lethal. But I feel like the yeah. Evo is probably nicer to drive. But my first initial impression when I drove it was it doesn't feel as quick as the old one. The old one was like, it's rapid, but it's on the knife edge. Do you know what I mean? And you have to have that perfect setup to make sure that you can extract everything out of the car. Whereas this one feels like you have a lot more leeway, but you don't have the outright speed, if you know what I mean. Yeah. So it's it's interesting, man. I, I haven't done a proper comparison between the, the Audi Evo and the old Audi, but to me, it's probably a little bit similar. But... I think on this, interesting. Yeah, yeah. Um, I, w- I would like to see them actually put the old Audi on this chart. To be honest with you, um, mm. but the the new Audi the, apparently, well, going off of what this guy, I didn't actually get the guy's name. I probably should have put it up. But um, going off of this chart, you can see the Audi seems as if it's one of the cars that's that's, that's up there. Mm. And um, briefly, I I I, I tested a, a couple of laps in the Audi at Brands before we had the AOR race and I was just as quick with no setup as I was in the Bentley with a setup. Do you know what I mean? So it's it's probably got the pace. Um it was definitely one of the faster cars as well when I tried it around Zanvo. Just a quick ten minute just, you know, going around the circuit, getting used to it on the game or whatnot. The Audi was up there. So uh I don't know, I think the Audi Evo is probably decent. It's probably more stable than and all they had to really do is, you know, improve its um, drivability over bumps because the front end was great from the first one. And, the, you know, the drivability was good, like coming out of corners and stuff like that. It was nice to drive, but it was just that it was just lethal over curbs. If they've managed to improve that, then I think the Audi Evo will be a pretty decent choice. For a championship, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. <laughs> if you, like, with this, this, this chart here... Obviously, he's got like which car set the fastest lap around which track, and I'm taking this as default setup. So, um, like he's got uh, which car has set the fastest lap around which track and whatnot, and the Audi, you know, is holding two fastest laps. The Lexus does actually doesn't hold any fastest lap, does it? Or does no. it? No. no. It's no. only Nurburgring and Hungary. Yeah. But it just seems to be strong everywhere. Yeah, and the Porsche. The Porsche is an interesting one. I I knew straight off the back when I tried the Porsche at Zandvoort, it was rapid. It was lethal, but you could tell it was like seriously fast because I'll be struggling to drive the thing. I'll come across the line, and I was still quicker than the seven twenty S by a good chunk. So it's interesting, man. It's definitely a definitely a quick car. Um, also a car I have noticed that seems to be improved. Even though, you know, people are saying that they haven't touched certain cars, the Ferrari seems to be a better car to me. 100%. I tried the Ferrari around Zanvoort. Maybe it's just Zanvoort. Maybe it's that BOP around that track. But yeah, the Ferrari was decent. It was quick. You know, so um, for me, I feel like the Ferrari's definitely improved quite a lot. And if you look at the, the lap times, it doesn't seem to be bad everywhere. And I was quite surprised the Ferrari doing 42 fives around um, Hungara Ring. That's the, that's the fastest lap. Yeah. Around oh, Hungary. Wow. That's that's the fastest lap out of all the cars we have on this list. So that's pretty decent, man. And this is, you know, this is just default setup. So you can imagine putting a setup on this thing. And you're probably going to be able to improve on that time. Also. Exactly. Maybe so. Mm. So, yeah, the, the Ferrari looking, looking tasty. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's looking decent. Yeah. Well, it's an... <laughs> What? The Aston Martin, though. Yeah, the Aston Martin. Yeah, yeah, the Aston Martin. Um, I haven't driven it that much, but when I did drive it, and it's something that I've noticed about all the new cars, is on the brakes so far, actually discard the NSX because that was rubbish on the brakes, but on the brakes <laughs> so far, the new cars, they seem like, yo, know, they like you can tell that they're, they're newer, you know, yeah. compared to the older cars where, like in the, old, in the older Lambo, Got to do like loads of trail braking. You know, I don't stamp my foot down really at all. In these new mm. cars, you can brake so late, braking so late for that first corner on Zanvo in in like the uh, in the Aston, the Porsche, even even in the Audi. 
but it was only the NSX where I just couldn't jump on the brakes at all. But, um, yeah, I've never driven it. You've never driven it. I, I, I still, I mean, if you know, if I knew how to set up a server, I'm telling you, I'll be doing some wet testing. I really mm. want to test that NSX in the rain, man. Badly. You'll like, be fast. I think I think it's gonna. I think it's a fast car in the wet. I think it may even rival the Lexus. That mm. is my opinion. It's something that we have to test, man. Maybe maybe you know yourself or you got pole position on the wet track. Maybe one day we go oh, into yeah. um uh. The AOR server. I don't know if they still got brands hatch up, and just test, just test them, and see what time we can get out of them. Because the the thing about mm. the NSX is it it's got that, it's like it's got super grip. It's just slow, but in in the wet, the grip is what you want. Do you know what I mean? It's the yeah, of course. So, what what I noticed about the Lexus when I drove it in the rain, which was a while ago at Silverstone, and it was just rapid. And what it is is that I, you don't really have that um. You don't feel like you're going to drop it. So you just subconsciously, you're just pushing. Mm. But when I, when I drive in a Bentley, I always felt like I was hanging on a little bit. And so it ended up happening in the race, end up binning it countless times, even in the pit lane. So um, <laughs> Stop. I apologize, oh. Graham Frist. I was sideways in the pit lane. He had nowhere to go. T-boned me. But, um, <laughs> <laughs> but it, it's interesting but even when you look at this list yeah and you look down you look how far the Bentley is down the Bentley's underneath the GTR Bentley underneath the GTR I was I was pretty shocked at that man it's crazy Nürburgring 53.9 I mean some of these times obviously you know that you're going to be able to go faster once you've got a setup and stuff but it's I don't know man like I'm looking at the the top speeds at Monza, if you go right to the right hand side, you see all the top speeds. 270 down the straight. What? That's like that's that's, that's, that's 12 kph down on the Lexus. What? That's insane. <laughs> yeah. I mean, that's like that's literally you've got no chance. There's nothing you can do. You can't pass no one down the straight. There's not enough fast corners to, to gain an advantage. You're literally done for. You know what I mean? And this is the next AOR race as well, just to make it even worse. Yeah. So it's like, it's, it's, it's tough, man. It is, it is tough right now to be in the Bentley. But I think uh, the balance so far with the new cars, do you think that they, they seem to have evened out the, the new cars with the old, or do you think the new cars are slightly too... Um, okay. slight, yeah, yeah, compared to the old. I mean, well, of course. I mean, if you have the newer cars, then you have the advantage, effectively, because everything's newer. Newer, sorry. Mm. Uh, you were saying earlier, like under braking mm. and whatnot. You know, you feel like you're a lot more confident and stuff. So naturally, naturally, you gain time by doing that. Yeah. And obviously, I feel like there isn't really like a power, you know, like a, mm. a power edge. Should I say, like, there isn't one car out there that's got, like, crazy power. Obviously, the M6 is fast, yeah, but yeah. out of the new cars, you wouldn't say there's a, a new car that's got, like, out, like, top-end speed. No, you know no, 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 no. So, I guess it's kind of evened out. I mean, I like what they did with the Lexus. Yeah. So, you know. I mean, technically, it's, they just, you know, it's just a BOP for for 2019. So... Obviously, then they've not gone in trying to make you know the new cars OP. They've tried to adjust all the cars to make them, um, you know, fall in line kind of thing. Mm. But uh, I, I still, I don't know. I still think the Lex, not the Lexus. I still think the NSX needs more. Um, I'm aware that the M6 seems to have slightly improved around certain tracks. That's what I'm hearing. But um, yeah, you know, I, I, I don't know, man. Like, the, like, for instance, the old Porsche, forget about it. It's done. It's dead. It's finished. It's out of it. <laughs> yeah. Do you know what I mean? But yeah. the new Porsche is definitely up there. And if you're a guy that knows how to drive Porsches, then you're going to be laughing. Do you know what I mean? So, um, yeah, yeah it's, it's, I don't know, man. It's, it's a tough one. It's definitely a tough one. I just feel like, you know, it's... Are you going to change the car? 
no, it's too late now. I, yeah. like, I could, but I feel like it's a little bit too late because yeah. I've what, I've done. Look, we've done. Is that half the season gone now? How many? How many races have we done? Four. Four. Yeah, four races out of eight races. I think. Yeah. Mm. Do you know what? I, I did. I looked at the calendar and I saw Monza, and I thought, wow, that's. <laughs> Especially after I saw this, after I saw this um, table, I thought, "Wow, our top but speed at Monza is faster, fam." <laughs> For real, I just well, got. <laughs> what, what's the what's the next slowest? The McLaren two seven two. No, no, Lambo. the Lambo, the old Lambo oh. two seven one. Wow, is that true? But the Lambo was a a quick car. Yeah, yeah, because I, I remember the um, what was it? The bloody SRO events. I think the Lambo took pole, but I suppose that's quite a long time ago in terms of patches. Yeah. But um, that's insane. So the Lambo's pretty slow down straight, but I suppose everyone's just going to jump in the Evo, which looks to be a little bit more competitive. But look at the M6's straight line. 281. Eight. 281. That is... Look at some of its lap times around, you know. Yeah. The tracks. It's, it's not really up there it's, it's not just, that's all it has yeah yeah but i mean it's not up there but it's not you know far away should i say i mean it looks like it's pretty far away around barcelona 44 5 but again this is default but if we look at some of the other tracks it's it's, it's in and around the mid pack it's just the tracks where it's weak it's just really weak but I, I, when I look at the Bentley, I've seen like a car that's not really strong anywhere. In fact, the only place where I would say the Bentley seems to be strong is Brands Hatch. Do you know what I mean? And that's where all yeah. the cars seem to be quite evenly matched is, is Brands Hatch. Yeah. Um, yeah. You see like the... Oh. Hold on, let me Ooh, see. Oh, in the second. Yeah, yeah. Brands More than Hatch. a couple of tenths, to be honest. Yeah. I mean the 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 AMG though at Monza that is pretty impressive. That the time he's done there forty seven six no other car has come anywhere near that. The only car in the forty sevens. Wow. So that's going to be interesting, man. You know this we've got we've got quite a few fast guys in the AMG as well, and it's See. the top speed's not the um, not the greatest either. So. I wonder what that's all about. I'm guessing race pace could be an issue. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> hmm. No, but the AM, though the AMGs always seem to struggle in the race anyway. I'm sure they always seem to struggle in the race. Yeah. I'm pretty sure they do. But um, I mean, it's, it's Monza. There's not really much to struggle with. You know what I mean, if your brakes start messing up, you put your brake bias a little bit rearwards. If you're back and stepping out, you put your brake bias a little bit forwards. That's it. It's Monza. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? There's, there's only so much I think the driver can do around Monza. You know what I mean, you need your car to have a bit of something. And I, I wonder what it is. I wonder what yeah. it is why the AMG is so quick around there. Do you know what I mean? Because it can't be... Clearly, it's not straight line. And if, if, if it's making up a lot of time through the corners, and I would expect the Bentley to be able to do the same, but nah. Where yeah, is it coming from? Yeah, I think yeah. it could be from sector two, you know, or even um, uh, what do you call it? Ascari. I'm terrible when it comes. To, yeah, Ascari. I'm terrible when it comes to corner mm. names, but yeah, maybe. But like, what in terms of cornering speed and like um, drivability over curbs? What has the AMG got that the Bentley hasn't? You know, I, I could argue that the AMG is just as fast. I mean, the Bentley is definitely just as fast for a fast corner. You know, I don't know. It's weird, but I don't. I don't understand why it's so slow. Even look, look, look at the um, look at the the Bentley's time at Spa. So to me, they cannot tell me that this car hasn't been touched when in two seventeens. Yeah, it's it's not even in the two seventeens. It's in fact the oh. only car that's not in the two seventeen two eighteen zero. Oh. You're trying to say that basically now the Bentley is the slowest car at Spa. Which I'm shocked, and that means they definitely touched it because we all know the Bentley at Spa was super OP. Wow. Yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying? It was crazy. So, it's, you know, 
it is a new ish car the bentley it's not as new as these ones so i don't want them to make it obsolete but i understand why they patched it after what you know what we all saw in the sro where they just pretty much just destroyed it so um yes not too, sh not too sure how that goes but i'd, I'd <laughs> like to, i'd like to test more of the audi um the lambo i'd like to try and you know get more speed out of the lambo evo it feels very comfortable to drive, but when I tested it out at Zanvo, it just wasn't as quick. It wasn't as quick as the others. It's like, what, eight temps down on the Porsche? Yeah, that's crazy. Eight crazy. It's half a second down on the old one. I mean, the old one was, what, third quickest at Zanvo? Mm. I mean, so that's... Yikes. Apparently, the Aston Martin at Brands Hatch is looking rather well. And at Silverstone. Yeah. I was actually baffled. I, I didn't think the Aston had, like, a, I thought it was just a downforce machine. You know, it didn't have the, the, the straight line speed. I didn't think it would be yeah. able to touch a Lexus around Silverstone. But you never know. Maybe it's set up. Maybe it's not, man. Maybe the car's just, the BOP around Silverstone is just rapid. Hmm. But I also remember people telling me that the um the McLaren was rapid at Silverstone, so who knows? Yeah, fifty nine one. Yeah, it's decent. I mean Silverstone's probably the closest track in terms of times, isn't it? Mm. Yeah. Seems. Well why did the Bentley have to have the joint slowest though, fifty nine three? Say what's happened to this car? <laughs> What's happened wow. to you? <laughs> They've BOP'd that mad, man. That's crazy. Do you know what, yeah? I can't even lie. There was a moment on the game where I was wishing this would happen. I, would wi I was wishing they would kill the Bentley. You know, like when I wasn't using it and everyone else is sponging yeah. off it. I was hoping yeah. that they just patched it and just made the car slow as hell. And now they've done it when I'm in it. Pissed. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah. So the Lexus quick at Zolder. The Porsche quick at Zambor. The Lamborghini. What's yeah, that? Yeah, the Lamborghini in twenty eighteen, yeah. Yeah. It's faster than the Eva around Zolder. And yeah, it's yeah. apparently faster around Silverstone as well. Um, same time. They've got same, the same time. Same time. Same yeah. time, but I'm guessing the other digits obviously were <laughs> <laughs> the digits we can't see. Yeah. Damn. <laughs> well, if if you look at it, yeah, like I I actually think the old Lamborghini is far. I thought that anyway when I tested it. But if you look mm. at whenever the um the Evo is quicker, it's only by a, a couple of attempts. The only one that stands out really is Monza. But when it's quicker, it's only quicker by a couple of attempts, really. But mm. well, they're saying that the Evo looks like it's rapid at Hungary, Hungaro Ring, and um, Barcelona. But I'm a cool, I'm a cool bull on this one because I know how quick the old Lambo is at Barcelona because I did tons of testing, and I know at Barcelona that's probably one of its best tracks. The old Lambo is rapid at Barcelona, so forty-three-seven, yeah. nah, bro. You know what I mean? Yo, what's happening, Voodoo? What's happening, man? Like I know, I know this guy has done a test, and sometimes you know when they test things on um default setup, you don't get. I, I don't believe in testing in default setup. To be honest, I believe you should test the car where you can be at your best, and that's how you you know when you're a hundred percent comfortable driving. That's yeah. the only way you're gonna find out. You know when you're on the limit, find out what the car's true pace is in your hands. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. If you if you, if you're not someone who's you know can drive default to its maximum, then it's not as accurate for me personally. But I mean, I suppose the guys put the time in. Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of factors that come into it when you're comparing all cars in there as well, because it's such a broad field of yeah. like subjects and different factors that come yeah, into play. Little mistakes here and there. Exactly. exactly. You don't know if that time he set 
you know, he may have hit the curb too hard, had a poor exit or, you know. Yeah, For me, yeah. I'd like to get things to the T, you know what I mean? I don't want that yeah, yeah, yeah. inaccuracy in a way. Yeah, well, well, then you've got to have a reference point. Yeah, I suppose the, the best thing to do is, you know, run a series of laps, take your best sector from each and then, you know, create a theoretical time and do that with all the cars. And that way you can at least have, well, I did this sector, sector two, sector three, without any mistakes. And you know, mm. you've done good sector times. You can at least, you know, at least you can say, yeah, well, the, the lap I did was, was good, you know? Uh, Are we missing the free eye endurance race tomorrow on Monza? Oh, am I missing that? Hmm. You know what it is? That sounds like fun. <laughs> sounds sounds like fun. Sounds like what? What time's the race? What time's the race? Is it driver swap? With driver swaps. Oh, yikes! But I don't have a teammate though. What do you mean? I'm right here. <laughs> <laughs> what are you no, talking I thought, about? I this, this ain't AOR. <laughs> <laughs> this isn't AOR. Yeah, it is. Remember AOR? Hold on. Weren't that, weren't that, is that on the 21st or was it this weekend? That's what I'm confused by because this, is it a part of the uh, championship? Or... Uh, no. The, the championship race is an hour and a half. But see, this is the problem. Oh, so... I'm going to get burnt out on Monza. <laughs> so that's like three hours of Monza. Was it this weekend? Three hours of Monza this weekend, and then an hour and a half of Monza on Tuesday. And I don't even I like the track. Any car as well. Yeah, it will be as its community race, isn't it? All right. <sighs> I'm up for that. It You're up, up to you. All right, we'll look no, at it. No. Look at have a look at this list of cars. We know the top speeds around Monza. Let's make a decision here. <laughs> <laughs> let's, let's make let's make a decision. BMW. <laughs> <laughs> Tomorrow, 17. 17. Oh, that's 5 o'clock. 5 o'clock. Oh, yikes. Bye. Um, if it's 5 o'clock, we know you're going to be doing the, the, the first stint because you know what my daughter's like. <laughs> <laughs> right, let's look at this event info. Yeah. Da, 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 da. Event starts, lobby name. Ah. Oh. Mm hmm. What are you saying, Prenner? About an hour and a oh, half for me. An hour and a half for me at Monza. Wow. Okay. Yeah, we can do it. Yeah, we can do it. Why not? So you'll be until 6 30. Well, my daughter even be asleep at 6 30. You might have to do two hours driving and me do one because I know my daughter will be getting up. I'll do two. Yeah, so uh, is there what's the what's the pit window? Hopefully, it's not it's not too small. Well, it can't be mm. too small. We we'll probably have to stop twice. Yeah, we should we'll probably have to stop twice, isn't it? Uh, three hour three hour race because you can't do a, you can't do an hour and a half oh, race yeah. without stopping, can you? Yeah, two or two or three stop. Yeah. So have they fixed the have they fixed the bug where you go to swap drivers and then um, you can't change? I mean, you you might just have to stop twice, then printer, and and then on the second stop, put me in. Okay, yeah, put you in. Yeah. See, it's fixed. Seems fit. Oh, cool, 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 cool. cool, cool, cool. We ain't done no practice, none. <laughs> 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 Saying cool, ramping yeah, up, ramping. Well, <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, I, well, you'll be doing quality, won't you? So I don't really need yeah, much I practice. Do. I'll do some practice tomorrow. Yeah, I ain't got nothing to do tomorrow anyway, so I'm not for that. Oh, Crop did it. Nice one. Nice one. Nice one, Crop. I'll actually bang on the stream from uh, from like five o'clock then, and then uh, I'll just have it on you. I probably won't put my mic in until I'm driving. Yeah. No problem, Voodoo Man. No problem, bro. How much? I, do you know? I swear I signed. Did I sign up for this? I think I did, you know. I swear I signed up for it and just never went back. Totally forgot about it. I saw it, but I wasn't too keen. I, well, I wasn't, not that I wasn't too keen. I wasn't too sure whether I was going to be available to do it because it was on a Saturday. But Do you know what it was too. for me? Because Zanvort came out, naturally, I just want to have a race on Zanvort. Do you know what I mean? 
Mm. I just want to have a race on the new track naturally. But um, yes. you know, that's cool. So we're going M six, yeah. Uh, I don't think so. Oh um, yeah. <laughs> no, hold on, hold we'll on. <laughs> wait, wait. Oh what? You're not feeling that now. I talk to you later. Oh, okay, okay. Um, no, I mean. Uh, oh, oh, oh yeah, forty-eight four. The M six is almost a second off. Nah, man, I seen the M six flying the other day around Monza, man. See, that's not true. That's not true readings. We have to test it in it. We just test it. Yeah. You no, know, yeah. I realize. I realize why you said nah. I realize the M six is one of the slowest. <laughs> so, see, see that. Uh, this is where I'm confused. This is what's confusing me. Everyone knows around Monza you need hella straight line speed. The Audi mm. seems like one of the faster cars in the straight line, but yet it is one of the slowest at Monza. Explain. Cornering speed. <laughs> the Audi the Audi's a good car around the corners. You're talking about the M6? I'm talking about the Audi. I just realized the Audi's uh, top speed is pretty fast, but its lap time is pretty slow. Oh. And maybe talking about the M6 then. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, well, you can say it for that as well, but we know that the yeah. Audi is definitely a faster car than the M6. Do you know what I mean? That don't make no sense. Come on. I, I, I think what he's done here is he, hasn't, he just hasn't done a great lap. I yeah. mean, I, I don't believe the Audi to be, like, not even a, a factor at Monza. Yeah. And to be honest, I, I'm not sure I believe the AMG to be, you know, half a second up and anything else. I just can't, especially with its top speed not even being up there. I can't, you know, I can't believe that. You know what I mean? I mean, it's a good chart, and I'm sure this guy's done lots of work, but I think there's some anomalies in here that I don't agree with. What's happening, Faz? How you doing, bro? Yes. How you doing, Faz? Yeah, I'm, I don't know, man. Like, it's, it's interesting. Hey, like, <laughs> it's in, I had another chart somewhere. I don't think I've even put it in my uh, stream labs, but it was, a, it was like a, a chart that shows all the car strengths and weaknesses. I can't, I don't know where I put that thing now. Oh my God, I'm so unorganized. <laughs> but yeah, it was almost like a, uh, almost like a heat map in a way to show you where the cars, where what tracks the cars really don't perform at. Oh, here it is. I wonder how I'm gonna put this in now. Yeah, but um, it was it was weird. I was like, why is, why is the bloody, why is the the Bentley gone so bad? The Ferrari to me seems pretty good. I mean, look at Lazan. Was it Lazanov? He, I mean, he wasn't really up with uh, Ewan Noble's pace in the race, but he was kind he was of, there. yeah, he was there. He wasn't being dropped off. Do you know what I mean? Mm. In the, uh, like wet conditions as well. Yeah. To he me, did well to it. Yeah, yeah, definitely, well. definitely. Mm. To me, it seems like the Ferrari's taking a step up from, from when I tried that at Zanvoort as well. It was easy, easy yeah. to, to put in at a quick time, you know? Um Saying that, I did uh, I did Jardia's, um community race in it, and I was all over the gaff, but that's more to do with me. But even at the end, when I checked all the lap times, my lap time was still like second second or third fastest, even though I was spinning it everywhere. So the Ferrari is... The Ferrari? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Ferrari oh. was, uh, was interesting, man. I mean, I, I think that some... I don't know. That Ferrari is, to me... Looking pretty decent. You know I mean, I, I don't want to be in the outright best car, but I want to be in something that on the right day, on the right track, it's rapid. Hmm. That's that's what I like. Considering, man. Yeah, but I'm a stubborn person, man. And it's like, <laughs> I should have changed that's earlier. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I feel, I just, it's just, I'll just, this season's a write off for me. You know what I mean? It's a write off. Hmm. You know what I mean? The stuff that's happened to me this season, man, it's just, I can't qualify well. I mean, I started making mistakes in the race, which I never normally do, but, you know, I couldn't even get back on the track. I just spun going around in circles and couldn't get back on the track. Mm. Just tell me that Lambo is the right choice. Um, I, do you know what? I haven't driven it enough. 
but I feel like there's something there. But what what I don't get from the Lambo that I used to get from the old one is that sense of I know if I make a good setup for this car, it's going to be rapid. I don't get that sense from the new Lambo. I get that sense where I probably won't make a mistake in this car, but that's it. You know, I don't feel like oh, this car is gonna absolutely be rapid. Do you know what I mean? Like I, I had that feeling that uh, Paul Ricard last season. I had that feeling that um, Hungaro ring. I don't know if I'd, I haven't driven it enough. I guess. Yeah, the Evo was definitely safer. I'll give you that. Definitely safer. Better on the brakes. Um, it just it's not twitchy like the old one. But I think that twitchiness is what made the old one fast, if you could get it right. And that's a big if. Mm -hmm. But I've, I've, the Lambo is still a good choice. I mean, you, you won't crash it, I don't think. But because I'm in the Bentley and because I'm already, you know, once when you're doing a league, it's hard to jump in other cars and give put a lot of time into them. Do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. that's, that's, probably, that's probably the issue that I'm suffering with. Mm -hmm. but, the the one car I did try quite a lot, only because it took me a, a long time to get it right, was the Porsche. And uh, yeah, that was um, decent, to say the least. Uh, but saying that, I struggled with it when I tried it at Zolder. Well, I was I was going, I was very close to changing to the Porsche, and I went to Zolder and I couldn't stop bidding it, so I thought, no, nah, I better not. Don't embarrass myself. Do you know what I mean? Not embarrassed mm. anyway in the Bentley. So we'll we'll see. We'll see. I'd I'd uh I'd love for you know for the NSX to be to find you know, do you know what do you know what my 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 goal is sometimes is to just pick a car that's yeah. no one's really feeling and then you just land on a perfect setup like boom and all of a sudden you start hitting lap times that like people are like how the hell are you getting that with that car that's that's yeah. that's what that's what I love. That's what that's what's more respectful. Yeah, yeah, that's what I want. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But it's not happening. Not in that NSX, mate. It's not happening. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. But has this this guy's put Honda NSX GT3, but is this the Evo? He's put the Evo with the other cars, but he hasn't actually put the Evo. So I'm hoping mm -hmm. this is the Evo that he's done this with. But um from my experience I did try it. It just doesn't feel like it's a... Uh, Anything anything to write home about? I see what Voodoo said. Before Zolder, I tested most of the cars, loved the 911, hated the Bentley. Mm, see? The Bentley's not mm. getting no love anymore. Yeah. It's been nerfed. That's what's happened. I think so. I, I literally think it was that SRO event at Spa. I think it's what triggered them because it. I think that's what mm. made them change the rules for the next round at Nürburgring where the drivers weren't allowed to pick. Do you know what I mean? You never liked the Bentley. I actually like the old Bentley. I like I enjoyed driving the old Bentley more than the new one. Cause I just feel like the old Bentley was like just it was a bit aggressive. I just liked the way I like because the like when you hit the brakes, the back end used to step out so much, it was easy to get the car to rotate on the brakes. And that's why I yeah. always used to choose that thing at, at Hungara Ring until they just until everyone just started finding even more speed and it just weren't a smart idea anymore. You know I mean, mm. I, I think it was more the patch. It was definitely more the patch where everyone started riding curves a bit more and you just didn't get any advantage being in the old Bentley. But um, I don't know. I find it weird. Like if I drive something else and then jump back into the Bentley, I always feel a bit weird for a little while. Like I struggle for, for a little while and then it, it, it comes better. But... There's cars I haven't tested, like the GTR, which obviously you see Noble is doing his thing in. Yeah. But I'm not sure if that's just the driver or whether the car is like, much improved. No, you it's know? definitely. Yeah. Because yeah, I can't drive. I can't drive the car like on edge how he drives it around certain mm. type, um, certain tracks. tracks. Yeah. Remember the McLaren as well, around uh, poor cars. Oh, yeah. Let's not talk about that there. That was crazy. Yeah, to this day, I don't know what he did. To this yeah. day, I don't know what... I tried that. I don't know what he did. That car was flying. But, um, <laughs> yeah, baffled. But, um, it'll be good. I'm, I, I'm, I'm a bit sad that we're not doing Paul Ricard this season, actually. 
I feel like two two mm. of uh, two of the better racing tracks like when like have a nice little race on uh, Hungaro mm. Ring and Paul Ricard we're not doing. Yeah, it kind of strikes me as well that they didn't do the top speed round Paul Ricard. Paul Ricard, yeah, yeah. As well. Mm. Yeah, that is a weird one. Because I, I know there's a guy, um, Unleashed Drivers, he normally does his top speed comparison on um, YouTube and he does it on a Paul Ricard straight and he just drives straight into the wall at the end of the straight. Mm. Um, yeah, and I think, to be honest, he's a, uh, yeah, Brandon Dove, yeah. To be honest, he's a, uh, mm. it wasn't too dissimilar from, from what we're getting here. I know the Bentley's just crap on the straight, but again, what we have to take into into context is that the cars have a different BOP every track. Yeah, that's true. Do you know what I mean? So what's slow around one track might not be so slow around another. Mm. What, what, what is going to be interesting, though, when we get, like, you know, like Bathurst and stuff like that in the future, like, uh, you know, what's yeah. what the cars with the turbo is going to be saying? Because if they, you know, if it's anything like P cars where the turbos... Cheers for the follow. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Cheers for the follow, man. Rubber Stig. I like that. <laughs> Rubber Stig. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Do you know what? That's, that's weird. Um, because obviously before we saw Noble get in the uh, McLaren 650 at Paul Ricard and destroy it, I never ever would have thought that the McLaren was anything special. But when you took the wing off, the straight line speed was faster than the Lambo. Do you know what I mean? So it was like, hold yeah. on a second. This is why, like, I think all of this stuff really, really, really needs testing. Do you know what I mean? If I wasn't so lazy and didn't have so much foolishness to do, or well, I'm saying foolishness, but I didn't have things to do, I would really test this stuff in depth because I actually want to know. And I want to know at every track. You know what yeah. I mean? And I'd love to, like, put a proper setup on each one of these cars, ring it around and do... I don't know, 10, 15 laps to the point where you know, like, mm. okay, I, I don't think I can go any quicker and then make a comparison just from my own state of mind because obviously I'm taking someone else's information on board and I don't know what they've done. That's you know what I mean? Sense. Yeah, so I know, for the, I know for my own honesty, if I've done a lap that I don't think is perfect, I know I can't upload that, that lap and say, yeah, there you go. You know what I mean? That's, that's the comparison done when I know there's probably another two or three temps in it. So if you, unless you do these comparisons and you do it with a, you compensate for the time that you lost or the time you think you lost and put your theoretical best time, I think that's the best way forward. Uh, I never think anyone should ever test on default. I just don't think that's the, the best idea. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because all the car setups, the, 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 the uh, defaults. Like, yeah. yeah, all the setups are different. You and, know what I'm saying? And I saw somewhere that um apparently the, the new... The new cars, their default setups are better than the old ones. Yeah. They're more they're more balanced than the old um, default setups. So there's there's that to take away from it as well. Yeah, Voodoo Man. Yeah, Voodoo Man, we need to... You know what I'll do, yeah? Let's pause for a second. If I won... If I win, if I win the Euro Millions, I played the Euro Millions today. If I win, yeah, we're doing this... Create a team, yeah. We need analysis. We need guys like Voodoo on board. The techs analyze yeah. every bit, every deed. Like that's that's how my mind's starting to work in terms of these these racing games now. It's starting to get serious, man. You know what I mean, you've got guys getting careers out of this, and do you know what I mean? It's starting to get yeah. serious. I actually think that it's 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 beneficial to do in depth testing and find out things that the casual person who plays the game is never going to find out. And then you keep it to yourself and you just end up being quick. Or you can share it and just be a nice guy. You know what I mean? Depends. But, um, yeah, I just think that... I, I, I like the patch, man. I don't think they've made it so it's... You know, the new cars just can't get anywhere near. You know, you can still win in an old car. If, if push came to shove, I, but I can, I, I feel the improvements that the new cars have over the old, if that makes sense. Yeah. Yeah, I'm with you on that. Um, there's a link I pinged in Dan's Discord on my Google Drive. 
What link? I think I downloaded that link. I think I did. Was that with all the cars in it? All the um, RST. Oh, was it the RST link that you put up there? I'm sure I downloaded it, but I downloaded it and then I thought, hold on a second. I don't even know what I've downloaded. I didn't even know what it was. I just saw RST racing sim tools, and I thought, yeah, Google um, Voodoo's done a bit of work. So I downloaded that link. And I didn't even know where to pull it, and I end up just putting a bunch of setups into um. Yeah, see that was skins. I'm stupid. So you know, I, I thought they were all setups, so I downloaded it and put it all and put every single car on every single track. And then when I clicked on it, it was a default setup. I was like, Voodoo's trolling people. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what I mean? I downloaded it. I clicked on it when I put it in the setup, and it was the safe setup. I was like, hold on a second. This isn't. This isn't. This isn't setups. Yeah. So is there is there a different link where you've got a uh, setups? Because I've got the race and sim tool stuff. I've started to try and use it. I don't understand all of it. I understand some of it. It's really in depth. Uh, I've seen it is. It. I used it on P cars. Yeah, I use it on P. I, under, I understood it a bit more on P cars. But, um, you know, there's certain things I don't understand. I mean, I've actually got it down here, I think. Is this the right one? I can't remember. What's happening, rubber stick? Yo. Oh right, 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 right. Oh, I get ya. Yeah, I've I've got all the I've got all the um the custom car skins now anyway. Uh, I've got that that wiki. What custom skin? Basically, you know when you do liveries now, um, it's all it, well, it's changed for the for the easier. You can just do it in the in the normal menu. So yeah. what you what you do now is you just um you go into your notepad you you know find whatever colors you want to put on it make your livery in that file save give it a team name and then when you go into like single player you can you just find the team name that you put and the liveries are there pretty easy so yeah I've got like and if because you can download all the skins for the cars you can put like loads of different liveries on loads of different cars all at the same time not like how it was before where you had one livery and whatever car you jump in, it just goes on that car. Now, like each livery you make sticks on that car. All you've got to do is save it under that name. Oh, I swear. See you later, Voodoo Man. Take care, bro. Yeah, man. Yeah, I made yeah. I made a I made a video on it on YouTube the other day. How to do deliveries. Yeah. So like I'm um, gonna look into because to, yeah. to be fair, I can't even do it on the Lexus, can I? No, no, you can't do it on the Lexus, which is unfortunate. But luckily for you, the Lexus livery is decent now. But it's not oh, yeah, it's, it's not mean? original, yeah, but it's not original because everyone can use it, but it's a decent livery now. Yeah. But I um, like it. Yeah, you want your own you want your own flavour, don't you? Yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah, you definitely want your own flavour. But um yeah, I put a, I put a good few liveries on, man. I put a good few liveries on the cars, and that's I do like that about this patch. They've made it so much easier, so much easier. Do you know what I mean? So yeah, yeah. it's pretty cool. I'll get into that as well. Yeah, that's what I like. Yeah. What I, what I think though is um, they should give us more leeway with deliveries. Like if you know. If you can load it into Photoshop like you could on the first Assetto and you can completely, you know, customize delivery how you want yourself. That would be yeah. something for me personally, that'd be something I'm interested in doing. But obviously with the yeah. templates you can only do so much. Yeah. Some cars don't even look good, to be honest. Some cars look a bit mm, a bit snide. Like I don't think the Bentley has great liveries. Um the McLaren deliveries are pretty garbage. You can only you know, you can't change the colour of the roof. The same with the Aston. So for the new cars, they haven't really allowed you to do too much, which is probably something to do with, you know, um, the teams themselves, not wanting them to mess around too much. But come on, man, this is like, this is Blong Payne's game. Give us the freedom. Yeah. You know what I mean? Give us the freedom. But yeah, all in all, I say that the new patches has gone down well with me. Yeah, I hope they improve improve in the future. I do, man. Hopefully. <laughs> I mean, because that that is the one thing you look at iRacing when you're a bit envious. 
be seeing mm-hmm. these guys just put anything they want on the car and it's just it's just there. I mean, I'm a bit envious of that. I, I wish that we could do that. But it's at least... Unique, unique, isn't it? What's that? It's unique. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. Uh, I mean, the one thing I do like, though, is the fact we can like put chromes on and stuff. You, you know, you don't really notice a chrome on our racing, do you? So it's like... No. Uh, yeah, the, the chrome, the matte. I'm, I'm into it. I like it. I spent hours just... I could spend hours just doing deliveries, man. Easily. But for me, yeah, the the new patch is, is working. It's definitely working. I feel like most cars are competitive. Um, and you've seen, like, we've done two tracks so far. And in certain tracks, mm-hmm. some cars don't seem great. But look at the look at the Aston at Brands. It looked decent. Mm-hmm. I mean, it was up there. The Ferrari at Brands. It's not just, you know, it's not, it's not a one-horse race. And if, you know, it took killing some of the Bentley to do it, I'm all for that, man. Yeah. Because I don't care what people want to tell me, yeah? That Bentley, B4, it might not have been the quickest over a lap, but in a race, it was so hard to beat, it was a joke. I mean, plus the extra size of the fuel tank, it just made it, like, almost, like, not untouchable, but you put a fast guy in it, you ain't got a chance, mate. That race is over, yeah. it's done. So now I'm kind of glad, even though I'm in it, I'm kind of glad they've knocked it back a little bit. And you can see, how much people do you see in the Bentley now? Hardly any. That's what I mean. And I, 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 switched. I, I remember, I remember um, coming on here and all we used to see was Bentley, 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 Bentley. And it used to just trigger me like I, like I couldn't stand it. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, it's true. The iRacing engine is very old, very old, and yeah, they need to, uh, they need to do something, like update it a little bit at least, man. You're getting enough money. Come on, so I mean, but you know, we we had that we had that iRacing discussion. That was what was that episode one? Oh, well, iRacing, yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. No, no, I, I think it was um, is iRacing worth the money? That was that was episode one. I think. Oh, is I race some worse than all Yeah, that yeah, that's the first sim racing um, podcast we did. I think. And yeah. I think the second one was the, at the time, the second sim racing podcast was the car order, and this was before the patch came out for the new cars. And obviously, yeah. um, a couple of weeks ago, we had, does project cars have a future? You know, so yeah, we we're, we're chomping through, them, man. Yeah. Uh, let me read what Stig said. Pre-current patch, you had to drive a Lambo or a Bentley to win, unless your name is Noble. Now you can drive whatever you like, except maybe the NSX, which is still slow as fuck. Yeah, yeah, pretty much, pretty much. Mm. I mean, saying that, you, didn't you, you won in the, the, the Audi was quick as well. I think the Audi was quick pre-patch, the Lambo was quick, the Bentley yeah. was, the Bentley was more race pace quick, I think. Yeah. Um. I think we we seen that the the uh, AMG was fast, but in the race it just died. That's what I noticed from the last patch. I'm not, I don't know, you know. Well, we can't say that because what's his name? Uh, Hassini won Zolder by an absolute mile, didn't he? Was it Zolder he won? In the in the AMG, he wins Zolder. Yeah, he destroyed Zolder. I thought that was in. I thought that was in the. Uh, I I knew he won um, Zolder, but I thought that was in oh, the Lambo. He was in the, the Lambo. Lambo. Nah, he switched. And he won Zolder by a good 30 seconds. Wow. You know what I mean? So, yeah. It's definitely... Go off, let me have a look at this chart. What was it? What was this guy saying at Zolder? 28-0 compared to the old Lambo, 27-8. So, yeah, it was, it was one of the quicker cars according to this thing around Zolder. Anyway, it was pretty much the same as the Lexus. Yeah, so it's joint third with the Lexus around there. Um, the, the McLaren was supposedly the quickest car around Zolder. Interesting. Very interesting. And actually... Um, that Andrade guy was quick around there. Yeah, yeah, he was, yeah. He was rapid. And actually, do you remember after the... Um, after the... Uh, let me... Actually, I'm going to see if I can actually load up. Load up that replay that I was watching. Do you remember after the Zolder race where we went through and then we started looking at, you know, how the car suspensions were working um, oh, over the bumps. Man. And you could visibly see 
how certain yeah. cars were handling curbs compared to others. Do you know what I mean? I thought mm-hmm. I was like, like, I've never actually like broke it down, like broke it down in slow motion, seen how these cars attack the curbs. And there were some cars you can see are so nervous. A lot of it might mm. be set up, but you could just tell people are on edge through that chicane. You know what I mean? Me personally, I weren't even, I could have straight lined that thing how many times? I don't even know. I don't even know how I didn't get a penny, to be honest. You know I mean, yeah. didn't have a care in the world for that chicane. Not a care in the world. <laughs> Um, yeah, it was interesting, man, because <clears throat> obviously some cars are fast. Like, for instance, um, like when you had like the Audi last season, it was fast, but so nervous over yeah. curbs that being nervous in a yeah, race that... knocks away your speed. Yeah, that thing around Spa was... Oh. Yeah. I'm not too sure if you remember that. I remember, <laughs> yeah, yeah, you was backwards. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, you broke your back. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know if it's working. I wish it was working. Uh, do you know what? Yeah, I'll try it. Try it. I'll try. <laughs> I try don't. It. I don't know why it wouldn't work. It's still <sighs> connected. My my um my chatbot is still connected. I broke my back. <laughs> what do you mean by that? You broke my back, back is broken. What? Spinal. <laughs> it is working. I wonder why the other one's not working. I don't know, but. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, it's too yes. funny. You need to get a little, uh, little image of him. Oh, yeah, Mike Tyson! I broke my back. <laughs> <laughs> my back is broken. Spinal. Yeah, Mike Tyson's a funny guy. But where is it? Uh, let me see if I can find it in the gallery. And actually, I've I've got like um, I've got about three saved races at Zolda. I don't even know why. Three full, Race. almost three full length races. I clearly did. I don't. I can't even remember. These two apparently were on the same day. Interesting. Um. Yeah. So I'm actually gonna play the race. See if I can switch it over to um. What I'm looking what at this? now. This, this was, season. Yeah. This is the Zolda we did the other day. So, hold on, hurry up and load. Hurry up and yeah. load, man. Oh, no, sweet. Oh, oh hold on, slagging. Gotta wait for it to come good. Um, where was it? What was it doing? is on board with me see curbs easy no problemo have I changed car let's go to the HUD um, let's try let's try the new Audi I didn't spend too much time yeah. looking at that I think this is You see, like, um, Lozano seems to be avoiding the curbs. Uh, yeah, he seems to be avoiding the, the sausage curbs a little bit more than the Lexus in front of them. Yeah. Which tells me that maybe this car's still a little yeah, nervous. I just want to see, I want to see the chicane. I want to see how the car handled the chicane. Obviously, he was he was still very quick, and I still always think that the the uh, the Audi is a very fast car, but it's just that nervousness that you know. Mm. Mm, not too bad. Let's just have a look at me over them curbs. I'm all over the gaff. It rode. It, it rode, <laughs> yeah. rode kind of well, but he didn't go super aggressive over it, did he? Bang. Nothing. Never felt like been in it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, let's go on board with you. Let's build it. 
Who's you behind here? Goats. I didn't know. I thought it was goats. Or goats. Or geo. How do you say this guy's name? I'm stupid. Goals. Goals. I thought goals was um. I thought it was an AMG actually. He avoids. He pretty much avoiding the sausage curves as well. I was taking all of that. Let's fill this a bit. There we go. Your car, your car seems to have like an extra bounce when it comes off the curb. Yeah, two bounces before it actually becomes stable. Right, you know right. What I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Right, let's go to Hassini. He was already six seconds ahead, lap eight. Yeah, he's, he's taking, yeah, he's taking all the curb. There we go, chicane. Oh, he was much cleaner through it. He was avoiding the curb. Oh. I think whose car was it that looked great over the curbs? It was more, was it more Vi? Yeah, his car looked insane over the curbs. Let's go back a little bit. Yeah, he did like, he was taking like aggressive lines. And he wasn't, he definitely was not having that second bump that you was having when you hit the curbs. Yeah, look, you, you can see it, innit? Yeah, yeah. If you don't go through there clean, your car definitely has an extra bounce, which I guess is, you know, all down to set up. So let's, let's actually look at the Ferrari. Let's skip this forward. Oh shit, went too far. Oh, next lap. There we go. Hey, Stig. Oh, no, that Ferrari, I, I don't know. I think what I'm, what I'm noticing is a lot of people um, felt the need to, to avoid the, the second part of the, of the chicane, of the first chicane, whereas depending on what car you was in or what how you tried to set your car up you could just fly over that if you're in certain cars mm. see gold saw i think gold saw was on the back of jardia for this whole entire race i believe yeah he's taking a hell of curb hell of curb <laughs> let's see go i think I've, Goldtrack actually told me he's pretty clean for this chicane. He's gaining time by just not even, you know, Touching. hitting. Yeah, not even hitting too much curve. Yeah, and he is. Yeah, look at I mean, you got to be really accurate, though. That's yeah, what I'm yeah. saying. That's what it takes. Yeah. A lot of accuracy. All right, let's actually go back and look at Andrade. I don't know, is it me? Is it Andrade style, or does he just rev the hell out of this McLaren? Wow, that gearbox is getting battered. <laughs> Whoa, look at that was crazy. Lonco took flight. Whoa. <laughs> oh dear. Let's see that. I think that might have just been a mistake. Let's see again. I did that a couple of times. Yeah, uh, a lot of people are feeling the need to avoid. See how Noble's car was reacting through there. Yeah. Oh yeah, he got a penalty in his face, didn't he? Yeah, he got a penalty on the first lap, drive through. See, he's avoiding as well. Maybe I was just being dumb. Oh, 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 oh. That's not what we wanted to see. It's a nice livery though, bro. I'm not gonna lie, you definitely made the Aston look decent. Yes. It is a nice car. Let's, let's see how he handles the chicane as well. Oh shit, I missed it. I may have been making a mistake in this race because I really was just flying over this curb. Is everyone else taking it? Me, and then there's me. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> what, there's a corner there? For real? <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. Ooh. I can honestly say Carl's setup must have been pretty, uh, pretty diabolical. Did you see that car over the curbs? Oh my god. <laughs> he hits the first curb and it sends him into the second curb and he's just bouncing along the track. Wow. Yeah, that's 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 tough in these streets. Oh, oh yeah, it's it's, it's work, man. What other car haven't we covered? I think we covered all the cars now, man. Porsche, yeah. Toivonen, Toivonen. The burgers. Oh, you got burgers, guys. Oh yeah, oh yeah, burgers. Where is he at? Oh, he's at the back as well. That actually didn't look too bad over the curbs. Mm. And Torvenen, he did kind of mount them. So I it's... Not that crazy issue. Yeah. Burgess was cleaner. Mm -hmm. That's a Torvenen again. Problem I have with the Porsche, it just sounds crap. Hmm, <laughs> yeah. Porsche didn't seem too bad. It's oh, interesting. What do you think it's the best sounding car then? The Jack. The Jack. The Jack. The Jack is the the Jack is the best sounding car in this game. Hmm. Yeah, I'm, I'm similar stig man. I, I struggle to drive the thing, man. Definitely struggle to drive the thing. But uh, yeah, for for me, I don't that, think it's a good looking car. Either, what the Porsche? <laughs> I, I think that, I think the Porsche is is nice with like deliveries look decent. Where's that? Mm. Oh, no. You see that? See that now? You can have your own team name. My team name is. You need some milk. <laughs> Where? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's crazy. It's decent, man. Well, what's better than that? You need some milk tea in oh, It's decent. It's, it's decent. But I, I just like the fact now it's easy to do. So if I go to, I mean, uh, what did I create a livery oh, for? What are you doing? AMG, I made one. Follow me on Twitch. Boom. Pretty. Let's say to myself. Yeah. And then what else? What else did I make one for? I made one for the Porsche. Tonight, I hit them with the, with the, with the, with the black and pink. <laughs> well, yeah, I hit them with the black and pink. Yeah. She's so pretty. Yeah. And obviously, you saw the, the mad Audi one I had on. I like the chrome on it. You yeah. sold me. So sold, <laughs> sold. See? <laughs> See? See? You know what this is? You know what this livery is right here? 1993 Seven. Benetton. Nah, nah, Benetton. not Senna. Benet 1993 Benetton. Before most of your times. Michael oh. Schumacher. Benetton. 1993. That car was amazing. Amazing looking. My favourite F1 car of all time. Mm. I mean. I mean, I've got a quite few actually. Oh, you, you got some cars, huh? Yeah, I mean, 2005 McLaren. 2005, 2005. What's that, the Kimi Raikkonen one? Yeah, that one. Yeah, you know, that, the dip yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was that was a pretty car, I'm not going to lie. That was dope. I think the, uh, oh, what was it? It was the first V12 Ferrari. What, the yeah. screaming, the screaming child one? Yeah, yeah. High yeah, pitch. Yeah. yeah. The one the Lacey drove. Yeah, John Alacy oh. and Gerard Berger in it, teammates. Yeah. Yeah. Jeez, you know your stuff, Prenner, man. You know your stuff. <laughs> yeah. That's it. Go on. Well, go on. What? It's quiz. 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 <laughs> 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 all right, all right, all right. Yeah. What, what you got? What have I got for you? What have I got Try for me. you? <laughs> all right. Um, 
who no, I don't actually I don't know if this is true. But mm. which was the last no 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 which was the, the last driver, the last Finnish driver before Kimi Raikkonen to win a race? For Ferrari. Before Kimi yeah. Raikkonen. Yeah, yeah, for Ferrari. Finnish driver. Yeah. Jeez, I got him. I got him already. Mikasalo. What? <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, phone a friend. Hey, no. <laughs> phone a friend. Phone a friend. <laughs> no. <laughs> How did you actually get that right, though? Did I get that right? Yeah, Mikasalo, bro. Remember when Sh- Schumacher broke his leg? And he, oh, he, won, at, he won at Hockenheim, innit? Oh, I kind of guessed that. <laughs> Cause the, only, the only other Finnish driver you do apart from Hakkinen, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he won, bro. He won at Hockenheim, man. Oh. I can't believe you got that right. I'm stumped. Yeah. I kind of guessed that. <laughs> Finnish driver. Before Raikkonen. And the only one that popped in my head, yeah. Yeah. Was, uh, Sano, obviously. yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Well, what else? What else, man? Give me a question, isn't it? Give me a question. Right. Uh... Oh, I think I'm on the spot now. <laughs> I need to go on Google. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. Google's too much. Google's too. Right. Google's too much. <laughs> I can hear you typing on your phone, you know. I'm not even typing them, man. I'm thinking. <laughs> That's me scratching my head. <laughs> That's me scratching my All right, boom. When did Villeneuve leave F1? When did Villeneuve leave F1? Yeah. Bruh. Yeah, bruh. <laughs> <laughs> um... Oh, dear. And did Villeneuve leave F1? That's a boring question, isn't it? <laughs> that is a proper dead question. Because in my head, he left F1 as soon as he won the championship. All right, how many races did Michael win? That's easy, man. 91. Come on. 91 wins. Yeah. It's Michael. Yeah, it's, <laughs> you know I mean? it's Michael. Who doesn't know that? Yeah, I have to test the knowledge. <laughs> yeah. All right, all right, all right. All right. Um, what track... Did Mika Hakkinen almost lose his life? Oh, I know that. Uh, la, 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 la. Froxton. <laughs> <laughs> Froxton. <laughs> oh. Oh. Oh, was that one? Is that an F1 that track? But I'm thinking, ah, oh, Froxton, I swear, because it was in Formula 3 nearly lost his life. Nah, nah, it? nah, nah. F1, bro. Mick Hakkinen. Oh, nah, because I'm, 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 I know that he nearly lost his life then. All right. Uh, Adelaide. Oh, no, nah, no. Nah, Google. That was a Google job. Nah. That nah. was not Google. No, nah, well, I can tell you how the crash happened as well, because he hit his head, yeah, yeah on yeah. the side of the uh, well, where the cockpit was, isn't it? Yeah, and that's yeah, what damaged yeah. him, giving yeah, yeah. brain damage. Head bubbled him. Bubbled him around. Right. Yeah, yeah. Ah, you got it right. You got it right. Mm, Saint I got it right. Alright, Saint Alright, let me think of one. After Williams, yeah. Yeah. Which car did Damon Hill drive? Arrows. Yeah, boy. Arrows. Was it, was Do you know what? Yeah, in my head, yeah, I was thinking Tyrrell. <laughs> nah, it looked it looked like a Tyrrell. It looked like a Tyrrell, didn't it? But no, hold yeah. on. Was it? It was Arrows, isn't it? He almost won at Hungara Ring. Probably his best drive ever. Mm. Um. All right, all right, all right. It's my turn, yeah. Let me think. Let me think. Um, I don't know. That's kind of easy still. Uh, 
I can't actually. I can't remember if Schumacher actually did it, so I, I'm not gonna say. Uh, okay, what year was it when Schumacher almost lapped the entire field at, at um, Catalonia? Jeez. What year? Yeah, yeah, what year? Uh, it was just when he was in the Ferrari yeah. at the time. And yeah. uh, I'm going to go for 97. Ooh, that was close, but wrong. 96. Because uh, he was in that crap uh, Ferrari, innit? He was in that Ferrari that was uh, rubbish. Yeah, bruh. Made it. Hmm. <laughs> 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 Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Right. Got ya. Uh, fair play, fair play. Fatality. Fair play. <laughs> <laughs> uh, got ya. Let's, let's see. You got another one for me? Or are you, you giving I'm up? I'm thinking, I'm thinking. No, no, I'm thinking. I'm thinking. All right. Let's see how good you are at this. Who was the first, yeah, and this is history, yeah, this is real F1 history. Who was the f- first British Formula One champion? Um, Roots. Was it Sterling Moss? Sterling Moss? Yeah. Yeah. Bruh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, cheers, Rubber Stig. I'll see you in a bit, man. Catch you later. Yeah. See you later, Rubber Stig. Get keep just keep guessing. Think of all like the British. Um, um was it um Damon Hill's dad? No, actually, how old is that? <laughs> <laughs> no, Damon he- Hill's Henry, dad. Henry Henry Surtees. Was it Surtees? Nah. Mike Hawthorne. Well, I don't know no Mike. <laughs> <laughs> Fair play. <laughs> but I, I won't I won't go through no you know I'll just use general knowledge alright general knowledge alright all right, all right. hold on hold on hold on um who did Kimi Raikkonen overtake on the last lap to take a memorable win at Suzuka who did he overtake yeah, yeah. uh okay so it's when he was driving for McLaren. It was one of the Renaults. I want to say Alonso, but then I have a suspicious feeling it could be his teammate, truly. Really. Because knowing, knowing from memory, yeah, I'm gonna say truly. Boom, Renault. You say truly, yeah. Your final answer. Man said truly. <laughs> With the Renault. <laughs> <laughs> Physicala, uh, bruv, come on. Physicala, oh yeah. man. I'm thinking about truly. Ah, <laughs> uh, 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 that's a major L. <laughs> <laughs> All right, last one, last one, last one before we wrap this up. What, one for you, yeah. Yeah, go for it, go for it. Okay, boom. Who from? 1987, yeah, until 2001, held the record for the most Grand Prix victories until this record was surpassed by Michael Schumacher. I'm going to say man like Prost. Ah, uh, man, yeah, see, that that's Google, man. <laughs> no, 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 no. I, I can't Google that quick. Man, I don't type that fast. It had to be Prost, because take into account Prost See, is one of the me, most yeah, successful I, When drivers. I looked at that, I would have thought that I would have been um, either Senna. Yeah, but Senna died. Senna died like, you know, 90, what year is it? 90, was it 94? Senna died in 94. So that's mm. like, well, you said to 2001, that's like seven years of not racing. Seven, you know what I mean? Seven seasons. But so. then you got to think about it. Prost retired way before 2001. Yeah, but he was always in a good car, wasn't he? Pross. Mm. Remember, Pross was winning before Senna came about. You know what I mean? One mm. thing I do respect about Pross, though, is he, he always had a championship winning teammate. He always took on the best guys in the sport, and there's not a lot of 
like past and present drivers has ever done that consistently. He was teammate to Mansell. He was teammate to Senna. Do you know what I mean? He was teammate to PK. I think it was. Was it PK? Yeah, he was teammate mm-hmm. to, to a load of world champions constantly. And he, he got four world champions there. So you, I think you got to respect that, man. Yeah, of course. You know what I mean, who's who else has been teammate to like four world champions and picked up a bunch of championships while doing that? You know what I mean, not many people can do that, man. Just look at his teammates. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. But yes, guys, man, that is the end of the Sim Racing Podcast episode four. What's our next subject? I'm not too sure. I'm not too sure. Uh... Do you want it to be based on a set of course or what do you want to do? We can base it on something else. I mean, we can base it on... Does it have to be a sim? It can be real life. I mean, motorsport in general? Yeah, motorsport in general. I'm cool with that. I'm cool mm. with the, the link between motorsport, maybe the motorsport... And real, sim racing. Yeah, yeah. Interchange. Yeah, yeah, of course. That's interesting. Yes, That's definitely. Interesting. Definitely. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to slap on a raid... Who can we raid now? Let's raid. Jardy has already got 82 people watching. Let's raid Mike Noble. If you didn't know him, Mike Noble's streaming now. Ah. Yeah. Need to follow him then. I don't know that. Yeah, don't man. That. Yeah, man. I'm about to slap on Mike Noble's channel now. And, um, yeah. I'll catch you guys next time. Well, two weeks' time, should we say. Hmm. Let's go. Let's get ready to raid. Tell this man I said hello. Actually, I, I take it these are probably doing some sort of a some sort of race. Yeah, Mr. Yeah. Gitz. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, man. So we'll raid Mike Noble, and uh, we'll catch you guys later. Peace. Peace.